Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome everyone to a video on the worker cat in Battle Cats. Long has it been shrouded in mystery and confusion and vague terms about what you're meant to do with it. Never is it fully substantiated, explained, or numbered until now. Now, a long while ago, I made pretty much this same kind of video, but with vague ideas, a promise of thoughtfulness, an idea, a sort of hopeful green light to the investigation into this, I was anyone interested. And it seemed like you were. And over a while, I've been collating informations and doing strange computery things to work out, at least roughly, some interesting stuff about the work of Cat that we didn't previously know. Call me like one of them 10 shocking things you didn't know about the Battle Cat's worker cat. So what I originally did was test roughly how long it took to get from zero monies to a certain amount of monies. Then what I did was took that time and divided it by the amount of monies I've got or whatever way around I'm dividing. I can never remember. I really don't like maths. But I got a rough idea of how many monies per second some of the worker cat levels got. And then I used them to bridge the gap between the ones that I hadn't managed to do tests for. Midway through that video, I realized that I could have actually done tests for all of them just by looking at a different interval rather than just from the very start. So I've now done that and got eight exact clips of each work cat going from a certain amount of money to a certain amount of money 5,000 later. Rather than measure with a stopwatch like I'd previously done, I recorded these sections, then whacked them into iMovie and cropped them to the frame before the money started going up to the frame after the monies had reached the target. And then that would give roughly the area that we wanted because frames can be a bit temperamental. And then instead of looking at iMovie's time in seconds, which would have given us a decently accurate time, we went a step further than that. And I asked David essentially, what's the thing that can tell me the exact time of something? I mean, I looked up on the internet, you know, find exact time of clip. I would have expected there was some kind of paste bin thing you could put a video in and it would tell you how long it was. Nothing that simple. Instead, I had to go on a website that I do generally typically avoid because it's got code in it, flipping stack exchange tack, and I found this mess, whatever on earth it means, a cacophony of colons, commas, and strange letters, and apparently, if you put that in terminal, another strange cacophony of symbols, letters, and code, and all of that, and whack your video in there, it tells you exactly how long it is to two decimal places, which is really nice and accurate. If there's anything I remember from my science GCSEs, is what you need is that accuracy. Oh heck yeah. So here are the exact amounts. Level 1, 27.23 seconds, meaning that, that was 183.62 monies per second. So these values aren't wildly different from what we got with the stopwatch, but we now know that that is exactly how it works, assuming that the worker cat works the same for everyone, which we can assume. We then went through the rest of the worker cat levels and worked all of them out. And it seems very roughly that each level is about a second faster than the previous one, although that varies quite a lot. I'm not entirely sure why. The fact that it varies so much means that however many times I've tried to put this into an nth term finder, appropriating the figures slightly to round them up, round them down, anything, it doesn't find a sequence, however many or however few numbers you put in. There is no rhyme or rhythm to it, it's only a rough improvement in monies per second. Which is what everybody knew about the worker cat anyway. The purpose of this was to delve deeper into it and find out exactly how fast it is, so that if you're really doing sort of finicky, nitpicky strategies, you can use this in order to work out timings and things like that. So we have that, use that as you may, that is accurate information now. Looking at those values, I wondered 
whether it would be worth it, as I and probably a lot of other people do at the start of battles, upgrading your work account once to get better money generation. At what point does that become worth it? I attempted to find that out in the other video, but again, that was a rough test. And this time, as much as I hate numbers, we're using physical, explainable numbers that should hopefully give us an accurate result. And this was me trying to do that. So assuming you're saving to 5,000 monies, divide that 183.62 a second is 27.2 seconds. Right. Uh, what does that mean? Oh, well, I've just been doing exactly the same calculations I've already done. Excellent. 25.89 seconds is... Is it... Is... 193, 25 is 193. Oh, hang on. I know. Our answer's 27.23. If you do the upgrade, round down to 5,500, and then you divide that by 193, and that's 28 seconds. So it takes about a second longer if you'd save into 5,000 monies for if you upgrade your work account. 6,000 monies, that's 32 seconds. It's 33, that's still an additional second. Six and a half thousand is the most we can do, because otherwise it, it doesn't work. 35 and a half seconds, 193 equals always about a second slower to upgrade your work account. So don't upgrade your work account. So ultimately the result seems to differ from what I worked out in the previous video, or at least what I assumed. I saw from the tests, as has been proved here, that anything up to how many monies you can actually save in the first work account level, it's not actually worth it. But now that we've got physical exact numbers for it, and we can test to a value that we can't achieve in game, we can see if at any point it actually becomes worth it. And I'm gonna do that now with my trusty calculator live maths. This should be exciting for all of you. All get ready to snigger and laugh at my lack of ability. Right, so. Assume that we are saving this time to something bigger than what we can usually get. Let's start with 8,000 monies. So 8,000 monies divided by 183.62 monies per second means that it will take 43.6 seconds, rounding it, in order to get 8,000 monies. Now, say that we upgrade our work account once. I'm gonna do the same thing of averaging out because we have a bit of the first level in here to 500 monies for the upgrade rather than the full cost, which would be to assume that we spent the full time in the higher level, which we didn't. I'm just approximating. I don't think there really is any way to make that accurate without an incredible amount of precision and a ridiculous amount of math. Something I don't wanna get into. So let's say it's 500 extra. 8,500 monies is now what we're saving for, what with the upgrade, but at a faster work cap rate, of 193.12 monies per second, and that equals 44.01 seconds. So it is still, although a little bit closer, slower if you're saving up to 8,000 monies to upgrade the work account once. And so let's go for a figure like 10,000. Surely this is when we'll start to see an advantage. 10,000 divided by 183.62 equals 54.5, rounding again. And then we'll do the same thing, 10,500 divided by 193.12, and that equals 54.4, it rounds to. So when you're saving for 10,000 monies, it is 0 0.1 of a second more efficient to upgrade your work account once. So that, I believe, is an interesting find. I and a lot of other people would just upgrade your work account at the start because surely that's gonna help. But ultimately, it is only when you are saving for 10,000 monies that it is worth it to upgrade your work account once. 
So be a bit more conservative at the start of battles. Your monies will be better off for it. And that is why I'm doing this. Would have never been something that I would have thought. But it turns out that the amount of monies that it increases by, the rate, isn't nearly as much as we would have thought. Look no further than the background that you're seeing right now. This was an experiment that I did to see what difference in time there was when you started at zero monies, upgraded your worker cap to level eight, and then waited for 16 and a half thousand, the max monies. What would the difference in that time be between upgrading the worker cap as soon as you possibly could, and as close as I could get to not upgrading the worker cap without it being unfair, i.e upgrading it just before the monies hit the current cap for that level. And it turned out that overall, even though I was leaving as much time as I could before I did worker cap upgrades, to get to 16,500 monies, it was only 8% faster to do it as quickly as you could than to do it as slowly as you could. And I was amazed by that. Now, I also asked Muddy Puddle to do a little bit of this maths for me because he does A-level maths and A-level further maths. I trust him a lot more with maths than I trust myself for maths. So in physics GCSE, possibly the only easy thing that we had was a thing called payback time. And that was the idea that when you upgrade your worker cap, how many seconds is it until it becomes worth it? So mate, work this out. For level two upgrade is 58.9 seconds. So roughly a minute. Level three, 119.3 seconds, roughly two minutes. It starts to go off this trend a minute by minute the further up you go, but level two, three, four is roughly one, two, and three minutes payback time. That's the length that the battle would need to be in order for your upgrade to make sense for you to do. I can probably use my maths to actually work out if that's true according to what we've just worked out. So I think, now the th emphasis on think because Although I like logical argument and that sort of logic, logical puzzles and maths logic is completely lost on me. But if we take the base rate 183.62 monies per second times 58.9 seconds is 10,815 monies. If I do 193.12 times 58.9, i.e. level two, times that amount of seconds, it should be 560 more than that, because that should equal the upgrade cost, I think. So that would equal 11,375, 193.12 times 58.9 equals 11374.768, and that is pretty much bang on. Well, I'm glad for that. There we go. We validated mates statistics, those are the payback times in seconds validated by the information we've already got, how long the battle should be for it to be worth it for you to do this certain worker cat upgrade. And I think that might be a useful thing to behold. Well, that's all I can think of doing for the moment. Now that we've got exact statistics, we know how many monies we get per second to a very fine margin. Hopefully that's useful for some people. We now know not to upgrade our workout at the start, unless we're saving for 10,000 monies and over. And we also know whether this statistic will come usefully into play how long a battle would need to be for your work account upgrade to be worth it. So this might be relatively abstract information, but I feel like it is good to know how a fundamental part of the game works. Because although this is kind of strange and not very applicable information, it can still be applied somewhere, right? It's good to know about this stuff. I have other things that I'd like to test that I haven't got numbers for yet involving meat shields and what worker cat levels you need for different meat shields and what's practical to do. So that testing, I guess I will start if you found this video useful. And if you have, let me know. And if you have found it useful, perhaps you might want to subscribe if you'd like to. We're trying to hit 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and any subscription towards that would be massively appreciated. I will be off 
to edit this mathematical mess into a coherent-ish video for you. I bid you goodbye, and I hope you enjoyed.